Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the EC1500 from eFlight. In this video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna take a look at all the parts and pieces, and then at the end, we're gonna wrap things up with our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right, everybody. Here's what it looks like inside the box. One thing to note, this failed right by the vertical stabilizer. Uh, nothing major. However, this is just a note for future reference for myself, just in case there are issues with my vertical stabilizer. And you can do with that information what you prefer. Pretty much like all my videos, I put stuff out there objectively as I can, and uh, you guys make the choices you need to make based on that footage. So coming up next, we are going to take everything out of the package and spread it all around the bed. Here we go, everybody. Here are the really cool looking props that come with this plane. Of course, it's twin prop plane, counter rotating props. That is awesome. Lots of character with those. We've got a horizontal stabilizer right here. Two carbon spars, two carbon rods, if you were. A vertical stabilizer. Looks fairly decent, even after that initial scare with the packaging. We'll see how things go in flight. I'm not sure what this, these plastic accessories are for. Here we've got our spinners, our skis, which may have something to do with these, but we'll find out. And of course, we've got our main wings here, and we've got our landing light, navigation light, Got a light on top of the fuselage, I think on the bottom too. There are tons of lights on this, this plane, guys. So that is awesome. Something I'm very much looking forward to. Of course, we've got the quick connect wings. That is really nice. Uh, yeah. So the next thing we have to do, guys, is put this thing together and uh, see what's going on with that. So when we come back, this thing will be fully assembled okay everybody this is what it looks like fully assembled and there's a lot to cover because this assembly was a little bit different than I had expected uh, one thing that I was prepared for was making sure that these props were basically affixed very tightly and uh, Jason from Horizon Hobby did a great job explaining what you needed to do to make sure the collet was nice and tight on the prop shaft. And uh, I think I did a good job on that. In fact, I'm fairly confident about that, which is rare with the collets because I really don't like the collets uh, just by the nature of their design. Uh, one other thing, the ailerons and rudder and the steering trim, they were off. Now, most of the time, E-Flight stuff is perfect right out of the box and not a huge deal, but it's certainly worth noting. Make sure you check yours before you go and fly it. This, in theory, assembles and is ready to bind and fly very quickly, but don't rush it, guys. You will regret it. This is not pocket change to buy this plane, so... Make sure you take your time and do it right on everything, especially the collets. I made sure I did that. And like I said, I feel confident that I got that nice and secure. And one other thing, and another person in my live stream last night mentioned that he had a similar issue. So I'm going to point it out because if there are two people that have that issue randomly, it might be a more of a global type issue. So the way that the wing fits in for those thumb screws, the thumb screws are a cool design. You can just hand tighten and hand loosen. I'm just loosening that right there. Now, in theory, that's great because you can just pop the wings off, slide it onto the spar, or slide it off the spar and on either side, and then break it down, put it in your car. The, the left wing went in really well, no problem at all. The right wing was a little bit tricky 
a pro tip for you guys if you are assembling this I figured out that I needed to lean it up just a little bit that way uh, it fit in well now it's new everything's gonna fit really tight so I think over time that's not going to be an issue but right off the bat when you're new and uh, you've got a brand new plane and you're excited about it and you want everything to be perfect right out of the box just be prepared for that if you do not have that issue great but if you do just take a deep breath work through it you'll be good overall i'm really excited about this plane guys it is it's huge it is far larger than i anticipated and that's not a bad thing so coming up next we're going to look inside the battery bay and then we're going to look at the cargo door then we're going to do stuff with the lights we may even spin the props so that's all coming up next before we get into anything crazy, I had to show what these lights look like in the dark. And they are, they're pretty substantial, guys. I am digging it. Okay, so I'm going to very strategically and carefully run up the props a little bit. Not very much because I'm using both hands right now and... I'm not going to be able to catch it with anything but my groin if it goes off the bed, so I'm going to be very careful. Counter rotating props, guys. So cool. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Coming up next, we're going to show the cargo door. Here's a good look at the cargo door. And right now, or just about right now, I'm going to drop this thing. It's kind of hard to use camera with one hand and uh, the radio with the other. So I'm going to drop it right now. Very quick drop. And as you can see, we're going to zoom in there and see what we can find out. There's a lot of room in there for a lot of cool stuff. There's also a rat's nest right behind the battery bay. We'll kind of take a look at that here in a little bit. But there's lots of room for lots of fun stuff. I plan on getting very creative with my options with this. So if you have not subscribed, do it now. You're going to, so you don't miss out on any of the fun, including fun with this plane, dropping stuff out of it. I've got a candy dropper for my Durafly Tundra version 2. So I'm going to make videos with that. Nothing but fun on GB Linden's RC. And while you're at it, check out the merch shelf below this video to get all the best merch at all the best prices. And coming up next, we are going to look at the battery bay. Okay, so here's a look inside the battery bay. One thing you'll notice is that this is a 3S2200 and there's just a massive amount of space inside this battery bay for very, very large batteries. 3 and 4S, you can go with either one. You just have to make sure the center of gravity is balanced. One other thing I really need to point out is that this thing comes off the ESC with an EC5 plug. So here I'm using an adapter that I fortunately had on hand. I didn't see anywhere that I needed to get something. Um, there was like an appendage within the manual. So luckily I didn't have to order anything else. But if you're watching this video and you're gonna click on the links in the description to help support the channel, that's always appreciated and it's free. Uh, make sure you also order an adapter for it um, that matches up with which battery you plan to use. So there you go. Coming up next, we're going to do the pros and cons. Okay, we're going to wrap things up with our pros and cons right now. As far as the pros go, the lights. It's got tons of lights, as you can see, and that is always something GB likes on his RC planes. If they don't come with lights, they get docked every time. I don't care who makes it 
or what the reasoning was for not having lights, I love my lights. So that is a huge pro for this guy right here. It also has a functional cargo door, cargo door for a ton of fun. We're gonna drop off tons of stuff with Wild Bill Flynn, John VHRC, and all the rest of the gang. Definitely gonna be a fun, fun thing. It also has flaps, the potential for that middle section to get attached to the flaps. And I believe you can do full span ailerons, which is really quite amazing. This thing is also designed to do 3D, so that kind of fits in with the full span ailerons. And that's cool. Kind of dovetailing with the 3D aspect, you can do either 3S for more scale type stuff or 4S and hang by the props. From what I understand, I have not flown this yet. So that is what I understand. And we're gonna test a lot of things out, a lot of the claims out and do it in an unbiased, critical, but fun way. So look for that. Like I said earlier, if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun because the flight videos are probably the most fun on this channel, at least in my opinion. And so we've also got removable main wings. Just use, unscrew those uh, plastic screws and pull the wing off. It's a little tight at first, but I think over time that will be better. So the removal's easy, um, but when we get to the cons, we'll talk about assembling it and actually putting it together at the field and which might get a little tricky when it gets cold so uh, i think that's something certainly to consider i think we'll be okay but i will keep you guys abreast in the description of the video as things go over time another huge pro is that the horizontal stabilizers they snap off and on and that system works incredibly well very good design good job horizon hobby on that another big pro is at least for me is that right there that little thing you can grab that pops off and you can install an fpv camera which is really cool and in this nose right here you're supposed to be able to pop off that black cone and you can put in a gopro that is really cool uh, it seems to be a little tricky to get that black thing off. Was not able to do that to show you in the video. Mostly because I don't want to accidentally smash in the foam or anything like that before I'm able to take nice pictures and fly it and all those things. So in the future, I will be more aggressive and we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty with that. Possibly get some flight video from the nose of the plane. That's always fun. So as far as the, the cons go, the main right wing, that was a bugger to get on. And like I said earlier, I think it will get better over time. Another big, well, another relatively noteworthy con rather, not huge con. The props are big and heavy and it's demanding. So you need to make sure you put that on correctly on the prop shaft and maximize the value of that collet. Because if you don't, your props going flying and that can be big trouble on a twin like this so make sure you take your time and do that right but it should be okay and honestly it wasn't as bad as i had thought it was going to be so take that for what it's worth and the final con is the control surfaces were and actually are still a little out of trim at least with that aileron i need, need to do some work on that i got the rudder and the front nose wheel nice and situated so before i fly it i'm going to make sure that aileron is nice and tuned up with all that being said like comment and subscribe check the links in the description to help support the channel i'm 100 percent independent and gb linden out